What's going on guys? Welcome back. Hope you guys are all having a great day today. Today we're back in my home skate park, Tigard, Oregon. Uh, really happy to be back here on the Aggressive Blades again. I actually got something in the mail the other day that I'm going to be testing out today. And that is the Demus uh, padded shorts, or I call them crash pads. I wear crash pads all the time when I'm aggressive skating, especially in bigger transition parks like this, doing coping and stuff, because I miss the coping and I go down on my hips, my tailbone, all sorts of stuff like that. And crash pads or padded shorts, these things save my, my life from just ending a session on a, a crazy hip hit or a tailbone hit. Uh, full disclosure, I got these for review from Demus themselves. I usually rock these ones. They are the Body Procs padded shorts. These come in at, I believe, $30, $29.99 on Amazon. I moved to these. I really like these because they're a cheap alternative to some of the more expensive like crash pads, which are $80. Um, and triple eight versions, which are the bum savers, are $50 or $60. And so that's why I decided to look for, you know, some, something equivalent that's just, you know, more of a, a cheaper alternative because, you know, I go through these things. They obviously you can see right here, they tear up, especially the butt pads get kind of flattened out and they don't work as well anymore. You know, they, the, the pads get, get squished and sat on and stuff. So I usually rock these for about six months or so and then get a new set. So that's why I think cost is a real huge thing to me. So these are $30 for these body procs. And these Demus ones actually come in at uh, $19.99 on Amazon, which is an amazing price. And I'm hoping that's not just like an introductory price or something. I hope that's like they're, what they're gonna stay at because these might be the ones to go to because 20 bucks for a pair of padded shorts is a great price. Just looking at these right out of the package because I haven't actually taken these out yet. They look very similar to these Body Procs ones. Maybe a little shorter on the legs. Uh, so if you go to the back, that tailbone pad, this tailbone pad is huge on the uh, Demus ones. The Demus ones are about another, oh, I don't know, three inches or so. I, the width is pretty much equivalent. The thickness, you know, these are, these are kind of packed out. So I think they're about the same thickness when they're brand new. They feel like the same kind of material. All these padded shorts really use the same stuff. I believe. <laughs> As for the side hip protector, I mean, it looks very equivalent. Uh, the only thing I notice is this is pretty seamless over my hip, whereas there's a nice little opening here where there's no padding on the Demus ones, which is strange. I don't know why they didn't just put a, uh, a pad in this area. I'm gonna go put these on now and uh, I'll be back in just a second. All right, so I got them on. Um, I'm just gonna stand up. You won't be able to see my face anymore, but uh, I don't know if you can see, but here's where the crash pads kind of come to. I should probably take my wallet out. Here's where the crash pads come to. They're about right over here. They do cover my hip barely. Like my hip like lines up about right here, right at the top of where it kind of ends. So I wish this was up a little bit higher. I wish this had a little bit more area up here where my hip is located. Uh, Cause if I bend my hip, my hip really comes through that open area. Uh, so V2 of these guys, I would love this to be closed up, all padded up. And then the other thing, that long tailbone piece comes way up here and then wraps way up underneath me, which I feel like I'm wearing a diaper almost. <laughs> uh, so I'm definitely gonna be cutting that down and kind of modifying these because there's just a little bit too much padding going on uh, up underneath in between my legs. But other than that, like, I like the, the shorter length of these th than the uh, body procs. I like the kind of short size. In terms of protection, I mean, you're in crazy tailbone protection with this. Pretty, probably halfway decent hip protection. Would be great if it had a little bit more padding right there. But, uh, you know, for 20 bucks, the quality of these is on par with all the other brands I've skated in. And I can say right now, they're gonna protect me pretty much the same as my body procs ones that I use all the time. So let's uh, stop talking. I'm gonna put my blades on and let's get some skating and then test these out.
Love being back at this park. Feel a little rusty, but jumping back on that bicycle back at the Tiger Skate Park. These Demoose crash pads or padded shorts. I took a fall earlier on my hip, kind of, down to my slide down on my butt. Uh, I don't know if I caught it on camera fully, but it's a pretty good one. Got my elbow scraped up pretty good too. Yeah, it uh, didn't. I didn't feel anything on the, the hip, so depending on how I fell, or maybe these pads are in the right place and they don't need to be in the higher spot that I thought I needed them to be. So that's good. The only thing that's really kind of bugging me about these a little bit is the the tailbone protector that just literally keeps going, and it feels like I'm getting like reached underneath me. Uh, it just doesn't feel right. It feels like I'm wearing a, a diaper almost. So I'm definitely going to be modifying these, but after I do a modification on that pad, I think these are going to be great. I'm really happy with them, and especially for 20 bucks, man. Like that's a that's that's a change in the marketplace for these kind of padded shorts for sure. But uh, enough about that. Let's keep rolling, and uh, I'll give you a full wrap up at the end. Let's go. All right, guys, I think that's gonna do it for today. Uh, I gave blood yesterday, so feeling a little gassed right now. But uh, had fun just doing the, the normal stuff I normally do. Had a really good feeling on that uh, fish stall thing, whatever you want to tap on that uh, T-Rex snout. Um, my foot actually slid up the snout a little bit before I came off, which was kind of a cool feeling. Sketchy, but cool feeling. I haven't, haven't felt that before. I usually kick it right in its teeth so I can't go anywhere. This time I was trying to sort of stall on the top of the nose. Uh, I just still wish there was a piece of coping stuck to the top of that. That might, that might have to happen one of these days. Uh, anyway, as for the padded shorts, Demuse, thank you again so much for sending these out. They're great shorts. I really enjoyed them. Uh, maneuverability, breathability, well, breathability is not great in any of these shorts. You know, once you're stacking these underneath jeans, you know, breathability kind of goes out the window no matter what. But maneuverability, um, I love the length of them. They don't come all the way down your leg as my other ones do. That pad that was kind of missing that I thought was on the hip it would be nice to be there just as kind of an insurance policy. But I've crashed one on camera that you saw and then another time uh, on my hip and both times were totally fine. So I don't think that should be an issue. The only real big downside that I don't like, which I think can be fixed with just some taking the, the pad out and trimming it with some scissors is uh, the giant tailbone uh, pad. It's just way too long. Um, it doesn't need to be that nearly that big. I thought the ones on my body procs ones were huge when I got it. These are massive and it just the whole time I was skating I could just feel it in between the middle of my legs like being squeezed you know by my thighs. It just doesn't feel great. But you know that's an easy fix by just taking some scissors and trimming it down the way you want it. Yeah, you know, what can I say for $20 for padded shorts, man? I remember when crash pads were like 120 bucks back in the 90s when I was snowboarding and wore them. <laughs> We've come a long way. I really appreciate the fact that companies like Demuse, 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 I'm saying it wrong the whole day, probably. Uh, I'm really happy that companies like this are coming in and challenging the market and lowering the price points of these kinds of things because I think these are very important products to be made to keep skaters safe, keep them, keep them riding. Uh, keep them getting better without, you know, getting hurt. Yeah, I think they're great. Um, if you guys are looking for a padded short, these are a great one to look at. I will have a link to the shorts in the description if you guys want to purchase them through my affiliate link. That'd be awesome. I get a few cents kickback on that purchase. But uh, I think that's all I got for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. 
If you did, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, and make sure you ring that bell so you don't miss any of these uploads. And until next time, guys, just keep rolling.